drugs are really starting to have an effect on my community and uh, I'm seeing it even with my close friends. Um, I have a friend who came over to visit me the other day at my house and uh, his big thing is nerve pills like Xanax and all that. He really abuses them. And he came into the house and he asked me the oddest question. He said, Sam, do you have any M&Ms? And I said, yeah, I've got uh, a whole bag of M&Ms in the kitchen pantry. And then he, he stood there looking at me for a second and then he said, cool. Sam, do you have any M&Ms? And then not long after that, I had another friend come in and his big thing is, is like speed cocaine, all that stuff, you know, and he came in and he asked me the exact same question. He said, Sam, have you got any M&Ms? And I said, yeah, man, I've got some M&Ms. There, there's a big bag over there in the kitchen pantry. And he said, that's cool. How much do you think we can sell them for? And then you know what? Like the next day, I had another friend come over and his big thing is ecstasy. That's that's the drug that, that he's hooked on. And he came in, and I don't know what it is. He asked me the same question. It's like, Sam, have you got any M&Ms? And I said, yeah, I've got a whole bag of M&Ms in the kitchen pantry. And then he said, well, you better get those M&Ms out of that pantry because I'm about to make love to it. And then finally, I had a fourth friend come in, and his big thing is marijuana. He likes to smoke weed. Well, he asked me if I had any M&Ms, and I told him, yeah, I've got a big bag of M&Ms in the kitchen pantry. And so now I don't have a bag of M&Ms in the kitchen pantry anymore because he ate the whole bag. But my point is, is that drugs are really, I mean, they're, they're starting to have an effect on our community and, and our friends. Don't, don't do drugs, kids, okay?